Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Ezekiel chapter 34, verses 11 through 16. The Reverend Sean Denzer is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I, I myself, will search for my sheep and will seek them out as a shepherd seeks out his flock when he is among his sheep that have been scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness, and I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries, and will bring them into their own land, and I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the ravines and in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them with good pasture, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing land. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and on rich pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak, and the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them in righteousness. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The Lord calls his people sheep. This should not seem like a cute metaphor, at least at first. By Ezekiel, the Lord calls Israel a flock of easily scattered and helpless sheep. Tomorrow, Peter will, will, Peter will echo this with Isaiah's words. We too, like sheep, have gone astray. Sheep are the dumbest and most defenseless of domesticated animals. It is, at least at first, an insulting pet name for God to give us. We must know something more about him before it can become a term of endearment, as it rightly is for us Christians. The same is true of that other word, disciple, that is, student, learner. It's not a glamorous name. It's not egalitarian. But whenever we read the Gospels, we see that we are most equal to the disciples in that we do not understand what it is we have heard Jesus say. Like sheep like self-confident beasts. We often believe that we know it all. But the disciples understood almost none of the words that Jesus spoke to them before he died and he rose. They stumbled most blindly during Holy Week. They asserted even once that they were staunch Christians in the very hour that they were falling away from him. But afterwards, in the light of the resurrection, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the words of Jesus revisited them and instructed them rightly, and they did grow and come to understand. This is how it is for us also. The Lord has awakened again the great shepherd of his sheep. He knows and he shows us now why that ancient title in Ezekiel and in Isaiah matters how when Christ Jesus calls us his sheep, though it is not aggrandizing us very much, it certainly still must become for us a term of endearment. Listen to what he says again. I myself will feed them. I will bring them out. I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them. I will bring them back. I'll bind them up. I'll strengthen their weakness, and I will feed them in my righteousness. This is the unique way of Christianity, that our God serves us, works for us, arises himself to do it for us. He's not simply a good shepherd that he's really talented at it, and he's not only a good shepherd because he's better than the rest of them. He is the noble, divine, unique shepherd. He is the shepherd who's defined by this very unique method of shepherding. He lays down his life for his sheep. He bears our sins in his body on on the tree, and he heals us by his stripes. 
These are things that no earthly shepherd would do. He does them because we belong to him, because he loves us, because he takes care of us accordingly. We are more than property. We are more than a job for him. We are more than meat and wool or even pet creations to this Lord. We are his beloved. We are his own, whom he protects with his own lifeblood. Now, are we silly and stupid sheep? Yeah, surely we are. How easily we grow tired of our Lord's shepherding. How quickly we think we've got it all. We think you've heard enough Easter, certainly enough of Psalm 23. How soon we want to move past his death. And how quickly we are scattered from celebrating and living in his resurrection. Are we also so foolish to think that our righteousness depends on us? Yes. The proof of that is how we act just like that is the truth, just like the rest of the world does. To live as if the Lord were not risen, as if death still ruled and was the number one fear we must have at all times. To live as if he were not shepherding us even now and guarding us. To manage the church as if it were a herd to be fleeced by us. To oscillate constantly in our hearts and in our lives between timidity or arrogance. A sure sign that we believe ourselves to be more than students, more than sheep, but probably rulers, sharks, players, epic, whether that's in winning or in failing. The gentle but consistent, steady, pastoral drumbeat and piped melody of the Lord is that I, I myself, he says, will and that is why it is good, dear Christians, to remain sheep, not to progress on to become wolves. That is why it is good to remain a disciple also, even after confirmation is passed, even after seminary is passed. A Christian cannot get enough of Jesus Christ. We cannot outlearn or outlive his goodness and his love that are unique. We cannot get over how he lays down his life for sheep and how he takes it up again. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord. Therefore, no one will snatch us out of his hand. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.